at Frosty Freeze Ice Cream Shop, there are two different cone choices, waffle or sugar, three different ice cream flavors, vanilla, chocolate, or strawberry, and three topping choices, fudge, butterscotch, or caramel. If a customer chooses one cone, one flavor of ice cream, and one topping, how many possible combinations can he make? Make a tree diagram to show all of the possible combinations. The owner of the ice cream shop has run out of caramel. How many choices must be removed from the diagram? Explain. In order to increase the number of choices, now that the caramel's gone, the shop owner will either add a new type of cone or a new flavor of ice cream. Which of these changes would result in a greater number of combinations? Explain your answer. To find the total number of possible combinations you can make, use the slots method. Draw slots that correspond to each type of cone flavor of ice cream, and topping. There are two types of cones, waffle and sugar, three flavors of ice cream, vanilla, chocolate, and strawberry, and three toppings, fudge, butterscotch, and caramel. If you multiply numbers together, two times three times three, you get the answer of 18 combinations. For the second part of this question, we want to draw a tree diagram. This is what it could look like. For the third part of this question, the owner ran out of caramel. So you would need to remove six choices from the diagram. This is what it would look like. For the last part of this question, the shop owner wants to increase the number of choices now that caramel is gone. So he can add a new type of cone or a new flavor of ice cream. Which of these changes would result in a greater number of combinations? To answer this question, you could use either the slots method or tree diagrams. Let's go ahead and do both. Before I continue, let me remind you that when the shop owner ran out of caramel, the total number of choices went down to only 12. So let's see what happens when he decides to add a new ice cream flavor. The slots would be as follows. Two for cone, four for ice cream, and two toppings. Multiply the numbers together, you get a total of 16 choices, which means there are four new choices available. Let's see what happens if the shop owner decides to add a new cone instead. The slots would be as follows. Three for cone, three for ice cream, and two toppings. Multiply the numbers together, you get 18 choices. So that means there are six new choices available. Therefore, the shop owner should add a new cone. And now let's answer the question using tree diagram. 